Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship Round 7 Finale here at Lyddon Hill. It's the final race of the weekend, and by my mathematics in that well, could be wrong, but I'm going to be pretty close. O'Donovan and Toehill are tied in the championship, both on 165 points. Oh, this is going to be an absolute cracker. Well... We have got ourselves Jack Thorne, who is on pole position. Then we've got Toehill in second position. And then we have got Godfrey in third spot. Then on the second row, we've got Vitols, who can he produce some more Latvian magic today? And then we have got Ollie O'Donovan in the second row of the grid. Then we've got Ovenden, who will start in sixth position. We've got Steve Hill, who will start in seventh. And then we've got Hal Ridge, who starts in eighth spot. We've had two rounds this weekend. It all comes down to this for round number seven. Round number six finale was absolutely incredible. Oh, if only it's half as good as that, it's still going to be an absolute cracker. Marshall steps away then. Eight drivers battling it out to win round number seven of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship when we are green light racing and Thorne's got a terrible start here. Toehill will go into Chesson's Drift into P1. Brilliant start then from him. Godfrey and I believe Ollie O'Donovan have both gone through the Joker here. So there we have it. Into the leader race though, it is Toehill. Thorne will be looking to indeed try and get up ahead. Thorne has been so quick in both rounds this weekend, but ultimately has come to the final and it's just gone wrong. So already down into P2. Watch out for Vitols. There's Hal Ridge with a late lunge up the inside of Ovenden. Hal Ridge is going to move off and actually run a long way wide. He will have to filter back in to P6. The front three though have kind of got a nice clear run here, but who's going to decide the Joker? It's a six lap, six lap race here so they can stay out as long as they want. Thorn comes in and that frees up Vitols. Can the Latvian produce it once again? As they come out of Chesson's Drift then through the Dover slope. You can see then the Thorn. Is he up ahead of everybody who hasn't? He joked he is. He's ahead, up, ahead of Godfrey. Godfrey's car was coming apart in the semi-finals. It's still coming apart now and it is now the lead for Toehill. So Toehill stretching his legs out in front here as we come up to the top of Harry Hill. Grabbing a little bit of grass there. Trying to help with the rotation of the car. And Vittles again just in behind. He's a specialist here of the paddock bend. In towards the gravel section then. Sliding that car. Almost full sideways through then the chicane they come and they're still staying out on the main circuit here no joker for the front two and as you can see in the background then Avendid is now going to start to slow down Jack Thorne so here we go through the devil's elbow once again Vitols just with three laps remaining after this needs to start trying to make some inroads on Toehill Toehill is in well, he's in the golden seat right now. He's got that golden ticket. Can he potentially go out and take the victory? It's going to be close between these two. But Toehill is doing all of the hard work right now. Jack Thorne is being held up. Ovenden is holding him up here. So the longer this goes on, the more chance of it being between these two. It's as simple as that. You can see the Vitals is pushing this car then. He's super sideways on the exit then of the Dover slope. He is... Probably as close as he's been all race here. Under braking, he's figured something out. Vitols is definitely closing in here. Oh, this is going to be super, super close. As we come up Harry Hill, up towards the apex here. Toehill still holds the lead, though. He still holds the lead. Needs to hold his nerve now as well. And Vitols is definitely closing in. The Latvian, who won round one, who's won round number six. Can he potentially put the pressure on here and win round number seven? So as you can see then, Jack Thorne has indeed got up into P3 as the leader and P2 come through the Joker section here. Oh, Jack Thorne's got it. He wasn't held up enough. He's taken the lead. I can't believe it. What an incredible lap. As soon as he's got past Avondon, he's found that extra edge. He's been the standout this weekend. It didn't go right for him in the final yesterday. But all of a sudden then, Jack Thorne is in the lead of this race. They've got one more lap remaining here. He's in the lead then. Toehill in second position. Vittles is in third spot. Godfrey holds on to fourth. And though Donovan not having a good time here, it's even further behind. Jack Thorne, out of nowhere, I can't believe it. It looked like he's being held up by Avondon, but Avondon must have been flying as well. 
And all of a sudden then Thorne with a big opportunity here of winning this race. Look at Vissols, look how close he is to Toe Hill. He's opening up Chesson's Drift the best he possibly can on the power early through the gravel section here as well. Remember, Thorne is a guest driver. So these two are battling out for the P1 points. Not the P1 trophy, but the P1 points. So in terms of the championship, this, this is incredible action. Thorne, though, is coming up towards the apex at the top of Harry Hill. Oh, he's been a standout, this lad has. He's been incredible this weekend so far. The final of round six did not go his way. He managed to get P2. But boy, Super Sunday has come strong here for Thorne. He's taken the checker flag. He will take the victory here of round seven of the five nations British Rallycross. In second spot, there will be Toe Hill. That is huge for him. Vittles, he tried everything. But indeed, it will only be P3 today. Godfrey is going to finish in P4. O'Donovan, P5. Ovenden in sixth. Ridge then in seventh. And Hill out in eighth position. What a race. What a spectacle. Congratulations to Jack Thorne.